Oh God, I realize there is no audio in the previous video for the fourth question after this time. So yeah, I'll probably explain it right now. So let's listen where we left off and then from that I'll continue so that uh, we can use this lecture only to actually leverage the entire problem. If the LCM, the LCM is, actually is actually less, less than, than equal, equal to my threshold, 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 then I will, I will attach, attach it. it. I will attach it. But make sure I will not update my map because Okay, so I will not update my map because obviously I want, as I mentioned, smallest value uh, for that specific device. I want the smallest value itself. Then I went to the place which is 4 itself and for that I have 1. So, okay, I will compare and see for the 1 as a divisor, we have 4, I have 2. I will do a LCM of 4 and 2 and then it is 6 which is less than the 10. So, I will simply attach it with the value 2. Then next for 2. Again, I have to check for all the corresponding divisors for that specific number which I have. So let's say if it, it would have been a number 6, then I would have compared it with the other divisor which is 3 itself. Because what if I did not attach 2 and 4, but 4 could attach, attach with someone else here. Then that someone else itself could be something which itself could have built my entire tree or graph, I should say. Thus, I should make sure I should try for all the corresponding values. Again, this will come up when we will go on to the next problem, which is 9. But yeah, this is idea that I have to go to all the corresponding devices. Now, as we go on, we will try for the same value 4. And then ultimately, I will have to make sure that, okay, 2 and 4 having a LCM, which is 4, which is less than equal to 10. So I'll simply attach it. Again, already attached it here. So simply again, move on forward. Now, again, for the next number, which is for us, which is 8 in this case, again, uh, for 8, I will simply make sure, okay, um, let's, let's simply speed it up. This is, I'm simply referring this exact same thing that uh, for 2 and 3, again, we have a corresponding DSU. So the entire thing that we have to attach these corresponding nodes, which means to attach the nodes on runtime, we need to have a DSU and you can just refer this lecture for it. Now for DSU itself, if big again, why DSU? Because we have to attach the nodes on runtime and that is what DSU can bring us. And DSU can also help us to find number of connected components. Now, if you will say, it will simply Key, go on to 4 and then I'll say for divisor of 4, this is the number 4 which I have attached. Again, make sure that I have attached the numbers but in the code I have attached the indexes. Same way for 8, I go on to 1. For 1, I have 2. 2 and 8 have the LCM of 8 which is less than 10 so I attached 8. Then for 9, I'll simply attach, try to attach for divisor of 1 but 9 and 2 have a LCM of 18 which is higher so skip 9. But 9 and 3, 3 having the corresponding value of 3. So again, this 3 is divisor, this 3 is divisor, this 3 is the value, having the minimum value for this divisor. The device, the LCM here is 9, which is less than threshold. So I should simply attach my 9. So now this is the corresponding graph which I have built. I will simply now have to find the number of component in this graph and number of component for this entire remaining stuff. So I'll simply find the number of components for this stuff. And also, uh, which is again, what if I have I have 13, 15, 18, so I have four components. So I'll add a plus four separately. Then I will simply to find the number of components. Again, I could have multiple such components in this, although I have only one component here. But to find, I can use simply a DSU. DSU helps us to actually find both on runtime, the parent, and also because for this entire, for eight, the parent is two, for four, the parent is two, for three, the parent is two, for nine, for nine, the parent is two. Ultimately, the parent itself is unique for one component. That is how I can leverage my DSU to find the answer. Again, refer the video to know about more on DSU. So ultimately, yeah, that's the entire crux of uh, this specific thing. Now we can simply leverage it. So let's see the code. But before we go on to the corresponding code, let's quickly see that how the code of divisor would actually look like as you can simply see that we simply iterate on all the nodes first then for every node i will go on to and find all its divisors what will divisor this node this corresponding node has again the code you can see here and on the java folks can also convert it by using gpt coming on back uh, we were on the uh, divisor section so we'll simply refer that specific divisor now for every node go on to divisor divisor will take root of nums of i time 
simple technique which we have taught on crash course now make sure that this upper limit is 2 into 1 e 5 which i have told which i have told already i will check if that number is actually divisor or not if yes then check if i have already visited that divisor if not then it is the first time i am visiting it so make sure to mark the index of that specific value if i have already visited it which means i have already stored the smallest value index in my divisor map for specific divisor simply get out that specific index and make sure to compute the lcm of the current number and that number which was already there in my divisor map if the lcm is less than the threshold which means okay i can simply unite them now the only fact here is that can we leverage to store any other number but again uh, we are referring simple dsu or oh, sorry simple lcm and simple dsu here but the question come comes here is that uh, should we need to leverage indexes only or should i can leverage the value also which i have told in explanation in, in ex ex explanation i have referred the values while here i am referring the index so if you look at the corresponding constraints of the problem you will very easily realize that uh, the corresponding constraints mentioned that i can easily uh, have unique unique number of all the elements so technically all the elements are already unique so we are good to assume that uh, we will have unique values and unique unite or union itself in dsu so yeah that's reason both will work index also and value also if you store in your dsu now coming on to the actual main crux which is the actual main code now which is simply nothing but the entire walk through of the main stuff so there here, here as you can see it's a dsu which is standard dsu which we have seen here i have lcm i have a multiplied by b by the gcd in java we don't have gcd so make sure that part now uh, we have to now get and remove all the elements which have a value higher than equal to threshold so one way is to sort it and remove the end values or the other way is to separately iterate on this entire array and only get those values which are less than equal to threshold in a different array altogether now uh, i'll simply make sure that i get the component count component count is nothing but the count of all the values which are less or which are more than the threshold right if i show you up this entire section okay yeah this entire section this entire oh, this one this one this one this entire section itself is actually the component count right okay coming on back we simply realize that uh, if it is empty which means all the numbers were more than threshold so which means okay i will simply return n now i'll simply again iterate and do the corresponding dsu um then again like simply in, in, in initializing my dsu and then having the divisor map now after that the entire code remains exactly what we discussed previously that okay for every number go to divisor for divisor check if the divisor is uh, divisible like uh, actual devising or not if yes then the same logic the only thing again when i say same logic which means uh, this entire portion if it is already there if not then uh, okay if it is already there then check the existing index which is the minimum value index and then find lcm less than threshold unite if not then i'll update it with the first smallest number and that itself the divisor now as you can simply see that um, we need to know for a number 12 its root under root will bring up a value around 3 so for a 2 other divisor is actually 6 which is not coming in in this range so make sure that for a divisor you also find its quotient quotient is nothing but the other corresponding divisor so that again same check stuff with this stuff with both of these which you did quotient and divisor you will build your dsu after you have built your dsu now you have your corresponding graph simply iterate on that dsu find out again this dsu don't find what it does ultimately is for every node i this find will go and find its root parent again i will repeat root parent that root parent ultimately says that for any node for let's say 8 the parent is 2 for 4 the parent is 2 for 3 the parent is 2 for 9 the parent also 2 so 2 is actually the parent again i am referring root parent not the just immediate parent so 2 as you can see for one component it, it will have one parent so thus i will have unique components is nothing but unique number of parents so i will simply say unique component dot size 
and my initial component which is nothing but all the nums which is having higher value than the threshold the addition of both of them will give us the final answer cool i hope you guys got it again uh, really apologies again coming on to the complexity o of n log n uh, for sorting technically sorting would be required just to get the minimum value and iterate from it so technically sorting will be required but you can get around of it uh, with it by comparing or storing all the minimum values itself now uh, technically yeah sorting will be required in this case so again divisor as i mentioned o of n into root of nums of i and obviously dsu dsu takes amortized o of 1 on every operation ultimately space is o of log n log n uh, log n or log n for sorting again um, will be required uh, considering if you have to go around it there's there are ways but can be a bit tricky to write and o of n for dsu uh, because the rank and parent are stores and then divisor again here i'm just simply mentioning that divisor ultimately it is kind of hard to know for all the numbers up till 2 into 25 how many divisors you you would have because obviously you are having a divisor map in which you will store all the divisors as a key and the corresponding value is nothing but just an index so these all divisors again although the rough estimate is 20000 for this again i just simply googled it but even if you consider all the divisors which means all the numbers up till 2 into 25 as a divisor then still the entire hash map as a key can go to 2 into 25 which is still okay and that is how you can simply solve it cool i hope you guys got it if yes then please 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 make sure to like it again um, it is uh, as you can see maybe you cannot see if it like it is actually 1 am right now so yeah it will be much helpful if you can just like it and bye bye tata take care sorry for no audio i didn't realize somehow audio did not come or got missed bye bye take care